In this video, you'll see how to use Excel to find a specific numbered weekday within a month. For example, to find our Thanksgiving in Canada, we'd look for the second Monday in October. Now you could look on a calendar and count down and find the date, but we've got a nice easy formula that will do the job for us. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. To find the date that the second Monday occurs in October this year, we're going to use the Workday International function. The Workday International function will return the date of a specific workday. We give it a starting date, tell it how many workdays to move past that date, and we'll also let it know which days each week are non-working days. Equals Workday dot intl and I'm ready to put in the first argument which is start date. I'm going to use the date function here and I'll enter a year and a month number first. So our year is 2022 comma and the month that I'm interested in is October which is month 10. I'm going to be counting from that date. I don't want to start on the first just in case that day is a Monday. I don't want to skip that first one. So I'm going to be going back a day. To do that instead of typing 1 here, I'll type a 0. And that gives us the day before October start. So I'll close that date function, comma, and how many days. So the number of days is the instance that we're looking for. So the second Monday. So I'll type a 2. And now we're going to choose non working days, which is the weekend argument. You can choose from this list. So maybe you're not working Thursday and Friday. But for this formula, we want to tell Excel that the only day we're working each week is a Monday. We're going to create a seven digit string to represent the seven days. It has to start from Monday and run to Sunday. So I'm going to type a double quote. And then any day we are working is a zero because it's not a non-working day. For the rest of the days, we're going to type a one, which means yes, this is a non-working day. So we need now six ones for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. End with a double quote, bracket, and press enter. And here is October 10th, 2022. And here's how the Workday International Formula got that result. We're going to start on Friday, the 30th of September, go two working days. So the first day we're working is Monday the 3rd, and the second day is Monday the 10th. All of the other days are ignored because they're non-working. To get my workbook, you can go to my website, use this short link. There is a sheet there that lets you enter data and it calculates a month and day number and a formula where you can just type in the string or another formula shows how to use the replace function and change one of the one digits into a zero.